Welcome to your video on exponent tricks and crazy functions. So first we'll talk about some different exponent tricks we can do here. So for example, if we wanted to do this without a calculator, we could figure out the value of x at 32 to that x power would equal the same thing as 4 to the 32nd power. Now the trick here, if you will, is we need the base numbers, the big numbers here, to be the same value. And we've got a 4 and we got a 32 and they're not the same value. So we have to rewrite these two numbers as hopefully uh, in terms of the same base. So the first thing I would try to do is see, could I rewrite 32 as 4 to some power and then have that to the x? Well, there is no such whole number that 4 to that would give me 32. So it's not quite going to work out. Now, it would be 4 to some decimal exponent would give me 32 but we want to kind of stick with whole numbers in here. So I'm going to have to rewrite both of these to represent something. i got to figure out the, the number, the new base number, that both of these numbers could represent in terms of exponents. So the number that works out for both is 2's, because 4 I could rewrite as 2 squared, and then I could still have to the 32nd power out here. And then 32 is 2 to the 5th, and then I still have to the x out here. Now, what I can do with my exponents, if I have exponent to an exponent, is I just multiply them. So this is really 2 to the 5x equals 2 to the 64th power. And now that I've gotten my bases, now that I've gotten my bases to be the same, and they're both 2s, then what must be true about, whoa, craziness, what must be true about my exponents? Well, they must be the same value at this point. So now I can just basically drop the bases, drop the base, but and then divide the 5 over. So specifically, 64 fifths, and you know that doesn't simplify in any ways, x is 64 fifths here. So 32 to the 64 fifths power is the same thing as saying 4 to the 32nd power. So there is how to work with some tricky exponents without the aid of a calculator. Now, crazy function. Sometimes you're going to see a problem like this where there's a symbol that you don't really know what in the world that means mathematically. And really, it doesn't mean anything special mathematically. This is kind of a made-up problem. All right, so all this is saying is that if we have some number a, and then you see this symbol, in this case a dollar sign, and then some other value p. Okay, so the order here is very special. The a is the first number, p is the second number. So anytime you see this, then that means you're just going to do this with those numbers. So we're going to take the first number plus the second number, get that quantity, and then take that to the second number minus first number's power. And that's it. So in this case, if I wanted $5 sign 4, well, that means A is really like my 5. It's the first number. And the 4 is the second number, so it's basically the P. So then I go up here. So I have A, which is 5, plus P, which in this case is 4, then to the P, which is 4, minus A, which is 5 power. So this is really 9 to the negative 1 power. And so if I wanted to figure out what this is in terms of a positive exponent, if I think of that being a 1 underneath there, to make our negative exponents positive, we just take the reciprocal, they become positive. And so now that's really just 1 over 9 to the first, which is 1 ninth. So that is crazy functions. When you see a crazy symbol and you really don't know what it means mathematically, chances are it's its own made up problem. But this is absolutely something you would have to have for that to be a crazy made-up function problem. It has to be defined what you do with those numbers. Now, the last problem here is a combination of our exponent tricks with our crazy functions. So I'm going to leave this one for you guys to try out. The answer is x equals 8. So you know you've gotten the correct answer if you get an answer of x equals 8. And that is all for this video on crazy functions with exponent tricks.